Good morning, people. Happy Sunday. It's Gino here from realeverydayenglish.com. Today, we're going to be taking another trip inside a supermarket, but I'm going to be focusing on kitchen items to begin with, uh, utensils and so forth. And then we might even do some household items as well. The sun is shining here in UK. I've got my sun, I've got my visor down in the car to stop the sun from shining in my eyes. So um, without any further ado, let's do this. Okay, so here we've got various kinds of um, plastic food tubs. And in British English, we actually call these Tupperware. So each one of these is called a, a Tupperware tub. Um, I usually take my food to work in a Tupperware tub. Um, so yeah, this is Tupperware. We would call that Tupperware. I'll just read some of the prices out because I know you guys like it when I read the prices. So that one's 150, four quid, three pound 50, three quid. There's one down there for two quid, okay? Here we've got ver various kinds of oven trays. So we would, we would de describe these as a roasting, either a roasting tin or an oven tray. We've got various kinds. You can see we've got some for making cakes. Uh, got a normal roasting tin. So we'd use this for roasting, so let's say a joint of meat or whatever. Um, then we've got these ones down here are cake tins. They're for baking cakes. You can see some of the prizes. So that one's a fiver, five pound. We call that a fiver in British English. That one's a tenner. You can even as cheap as a quid. So that's, that's like a small sandwich tin, that one. Then we've got some, these glass dishes go in the oven as well, but these are called casserole dishes. You can see it's written the casserole dish, and that one's a fiver. Some of these are quite dear, tenner. That one's 14 quid, Pyrex dish. Here we've got all different kinds of kitchen utensils. So this one's a sieve. We use that for sieving flour or other food. You can see it's like got like a really thin mesh, and that's £2.50. And you've got a whisk, that's a metal whisk for whisking cream up and beating eggs and stuff. Then we've got a plastic one. Then you've got a, a white plastic colander. This is a colander. And we've got various other kinds of spoons and ladles. So you've got a potato masher. That's used for mashing potatoes. Pizza cutter. This one's a peeler. So we use that for peeling potatoes, peeling the skin off. And you've got a ladle, fish slice, all different kinds. Potato peeler. I don't like using them. I want to cut my thumb really bad on one. We've got a cheese grater, so we use that for grating cheese, that's four quid. Uh, this one here is, we call this a corkscrew, but you can use it for two things. The top bit's used for opening bottles, and then this bottom bit is used for opening wine bottles, but we call that a corkscrew, okay? Here we've got a tin opener, so we describe that as a tin opener. This bottom bit here can also be used for opening bottles as well, but that is what we would call a tin opener. It's cheap as well, it's only 50p. And then you've got this other kind here. These are like the more modern type of tin opener. They're a bit dearer at £1.50. We've got a selection of flasks. So these are used for keeping drinks either warm or cold. We call this a flask. Vacuum flask, there's all different kinds, really big ones, down to really small ones. But yeah, you can even get them in like a cup, so that's like a thermo cup. But you can see these are quite dear, that one's six quid. That one's a fiver, but yeah, we call these a flask. Here we've got all different kinds of pans. So this one is called a frying pan. You can see that it's quite thin. It's not very deep, so that's a frying pan. And then these kinds are called saucepans. Now we've got all different kinds of saucepans. You can see that one's four quid, six quid, nine quid. Um, they range in size, so they go up in size. All these ones down here are all saucepans as well. And then these ones at the bottom, these very big ones, uh, we call these stock pots. So that's a stock pot, that one. And uh, you can see it's quite dear at 14 quid, 16 quid. This kind of pan, this really big, deep pan. It looks like a frying pan, but it's not. It's a lot bigger. And uh, we actually call this a wok. So that's a wok. You can see it written there. It's only a tenner. It's actually a bag in that. Here's an interesting word for you. So you can see in this box here, we've got fork, knife, spoon, and then a teaspoon, yeah? But all of this put together is called cutlery. And you can see it written there. So this is a cutlery set. And it's only nine quid. It's actually a bargain. Here we've got some plates. So these ones on top are a dinner plate. So that's a dinner plate. You can see the cheap, they're only a quid. But that's a dinner plate. The smaller ones are called side plates. So we refer to that as a side plate. These are bowls. Um, 
that's referred to as a cereal bowl, but we'd eat cereal in that our soup, one of the two. They're only a quid each, absolute bargain. And then obviously they send, they, they sell what we call a dinner set. So you get dinner plates, side plates and bowls all in one set. And that's only a tenner. So you get 12 pieces in that. So you'd be better off getting that, to be honest, because uh, these ones up here are a quid each. So if you was to buy 12 of them, it'd be 12 quid. But this is only a tenner. That's a bargain. Here is probably the most British thing you will ever see in your life. So this is a teapot with the Union Jack on it. Proper British, eight quid, what a bargain. Here we've got a selection of towels. So all different colors, that one's gray, that's dark gray, that's pink, that's black, that's white, that's green, that's blue, that's navy blue. Um, so yeah, they're all different towels. So you can see the range in from six quid three quid so you've got this is like, like what we'll call a bath towel and these smaller ones up here are hand towels um, and then underneath you've got what we would call a bath mat so these are mats for going on the floor in your bathroom um, and you can see on the bottom it's got like a it's like a rubber so it, it's non-slip but yeah they're, they're what we would call um, a bath mat fiver a bit dear if you ask me but this one's a good one this will come in handy in the winter months we call this a hot water bottle so you fill this with hot water, take it to bed with you, and it keeps you nice and warm. Three quid. Here we've got some um, drawer sets. So this is a drawer here. That's a drawer and you put things inside it. But these are plastic, so these are made for kitchens and bathrooms where it might get wet. But you can see there's not one there, there's two. So they're quite tall, uh, 13 quid. Good for storage if you're running out of places to store things. Then we've got a wire basket. So this is, this is a basket. Anything that's mesh like that for holding things in, we would call a basket. So that one's black and this one's a gold color, but three quid each, not bad. This one's an interesting one. These are bread bins. So here in the UK, uh, we have what we call a bread bin to keep our bread in, in the kitchen, uh, eight quid. So you can get it in white and gray. Um, let me know in your countries what you have for keeping your bread in. What do you call it? Let me know. Here's a good vocabulary point. These are oven gloves. So we call these oven gloves in the UK. I think in the US they actually call them oven mitts. I'm not sure. Um, maybe if Brent from American English with this guy is watching this video, maybe you can let me know. Do you call these oven mitts or oven gloves? We call them oven gloves. They're folded up so you can't see the full thing. Here we've got a selection of glasses. So you can see these ones are they're like wine glasses. So these glasses with the with the thin stem, round base, and then quite a big thing, they're a wine glass. But you can see that they're called different things. So this one's a champagne flute, that one's a wine glass. These really big ones down here, uh, these are called gin glasses, but I, I see people drinking wine out of these as well. So on this aisle, we've got mainly uh, kettles. So you've got different kinds of kettles, different, different styles. I used, to, I used to have this kettle actually, 20 quid. They range in price. So they're kettles and you've got toasters. So that's a toaster. We use that for toasting bread, obviously. And then over on this far end, you've got, um, you've got some coffee machines. So we use these, these are like proper coffee um, makers or coffee machines, whatever you want to call them. And then right on the very end, we've got some microwaves. They're called microwaves. I'm just going to read out the prices on some of these microwaves because I know that you guys are really interested in me doing that. So you've got 44 quid, 52 quid, 44 quid. You can also say pound as well, so you can say 59 pound or 59 quid, but it's basically 60 quid, isn't it? Got this one up here at 70 quid. Uh, this one's 58.96, 56.96. So yeah, I'm just reading out some of the um, prices. I know you guys like that. Then over on the end we've got um, we've got some irons, so obviously we use these for ironing our clothes. Uh, all different kinds: 17.96, 29.96, 24 On the bottom shelf here we've got some. Um, this is a slow cooker, so um, you put all your ingredients in this in the morning, come back at night, and it's cooked. 34.96. So yeah, that's a slow cooker. Uh, then this one here is a pressure cooker. So this cooks things more quickly because it builds the pressure inside inside the actual pot and it cooks things really quid, quick. 
You've got a steamer. So this is a steamer with different tiers. They're all joined together, but each one of these is a tier. And uh, you put different vegetables in, put some water in the bottom and the steam rises and cooks the vegetables. And this here is called the sandwich toaster. Uh, but you'll often hear people in the UK call these a Breville because there's a famous brand of sandwich toaster called a Breville and um, people just call sandwich toasters Breville in general even though this one's not Breville it's a, it's a different brand but we'd still refer to it as a Breville um, what else have we got here? we've got oh we've got a food processor so this is obviously you just put your thing and it, it cuts all your vegetables up so that's a food processor, 37.96. It's not too dear, to be honest. And then you've got what, it, what we'd call a handheld food processor. So you can just put that down into the food and it'll process it for you. Here we've got an extension lead. So you plug that into the mains and then it gives you four extra sockets. Here we've got some more household stuff. I think I've covered these ones in other videos, but always good to recap. So this one's an ironing board. Obviously that folds out, you iron your clothes on it. Then you've got um, maidens or as it's called here in Ura, but we actually call them maidens. Um, I can't see one that's called an Ura here. You've got some coat hangers, we use them for hanging up clothes, obviously. Uh, pegs, so these are pegs for pegging out your washing on the washing line. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a laundry basket. So that's a laundry basket where you put all your dirty laundry ready for washing. Um, what else have we got? We've got dustpan and brush so that's that's called a dustpan and then it, it comes with a brush but the brush has gone missing off that one so that's a dustpan and brush um then you've got various kinds of mops mop buckets this is a mop as well just a different kind it's more like a square head but yeah so these are mops and mop buckets here we've got a selection of hoovers or vacuum cleaners as they call them in the us we call them a hoover here so you've got, this, this one's a very famous one, it's called Henry, um, 139 quid, 139.96. Then you've got some hand handheld vacuums here. So we wouldn't call this a Hoover, we would call that a vacuum, but we'd just call it a handheld vacuum. Um, but this we call a Hoover. In the US they refer to it as a vacuum or a vacuum cleaner. And you can see you've got all different kinds, all different styles. Um, but this is my favourite one, the Henry. Andy's always smiling as well, Mr Positive. Hope you enjoyed that guys, hope you picked up some new vocabulary. As always, peace and love until the next video. If you find it useful, please feel free to share it. And um, if this was your first time here and you found it useful, then uh, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and click the little bell so that you never miss a free weekly upload. Until the next video, ciao, bye.